everybody, my name is Melissa Bender and this is my workout for the day. For today's workout, we're going to do a 10 minute standing ab workout. So of course you can repeat this, you can pair it with cardio. As always, the breakdown including what else I am pairing this with and how many times I go through will be on my blog, benderfitness.com. So I have my interval timer set for 10 rounds of 10 seconds rest, 50 seconds max reps. We have our 10 seconds started, so we're gonna start with a squatting toe touch twist. Core is gonna be tight, hips are gonna reach back, toes face forward. We're gonna to come to parallel with the thighs and we're gonna reach, tap the outside, tap the outside, reach. And alternate sides. So keep the core tight throughout this and keep the hips reaching backwards, chest lifting in between. Use your core to lift your body. Keep breathing. Okay, next we have leg sweep. So we're gonna keep the core tight. We're gonna kick our leg out at an angle, keep it at hip height or as high as you can and swing it around. So we're gonna kick, control it around, back, press the heel through, repeat. So that control is important to activating your core in this move. Feel every muscle in your core activating with this one. Okay, same thing on the other side. Keep that core tight the whole time. Lift at an angle, bring it around, bend, and press that heel behind you. Keep working through the core. Okay, next we have goddess squat reach through. So toes turn at an angle, core tight. We're gonna squat down to parallel. We're gonna reach through our legs behind us, straight in front of us, and lift through the core, keeping it low. Down, out, lift. Keep those hips low. Keep breathing. Okay, next we're gonna have wall sit, cross leg kick. So we're gonna um, come to parallel or as close as you can get. Sit your back against the wall. You can put your hands on your hips if you want. Cross the leg, kick it up, right back into a cross. Pull the core tight and really feel it working to lift. Quick cold. You'll 
You'll feel this one in your thigh too. Less than 10 seconds. Hold. Same thing on the other side. Shake out that leg. Again, keep that core tight and active the whole time. Squat to parallel. Hands can come up or at your waist. Core tight. Keep that core pulling in. About five seconds left. Okay. Next we have chair twist. Shake it out. This time knees and ankles are gonna press together. We're gonna squeeze close. We're gonna reach up. We're gonna twist to the outside of your foot. Look up at your thumb. Center. Twist. Turn your upper body toward the ceiling. So lift and then turn, lift, core tight, Keep breathing. Okay. Next we have double elbow top squat. So we're gonna squat again, toes pointing forward, core tight, hands behind the head, elbows out. And we're going to tap right, tap left to the right knee. All one side. Use your core for the tap and twist. Really turn into the movement. Just shake it out as a burden. Same thing on the other side. Feel the burn in those thighs. Okay. Core tight. Tap. Twist. Lift. Ten seconds to do this. <laughs> okay, last exercise in this round, forward fold reach. Feet together. We're gonna reach down, stretch out, lift up and back, stretching out the abs. Core tight, reach it out and lift, stretch it back, down, up, 
And from here to here, you want to keep your hips in the same spot. Really focus on stretching the upside. Okay guys, so quick workout. You're really gonna feel the burn in your thighs and your abs. As always, the breakdown will be on my blog along with number of rounds, any extra cardio, plus all the other workouts for my 30 day challenge and over 500 other free home workouts. I hope to see you guys there, benderfitness.com. And don't forget, click like if you like the workout. Click subscribe if you like getting free workouts. See you guys next time.